I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Now unless you on cloud 10, under a rock How you heard the motherfucking word? What's good y'all, it's yours truly Once again, Heartbreak Ace If you're familiar with my content or not Hit that like, comment, subscribe So the algorithm get his breaking content every time I upload Algorithm sister comments gonna ask me why I'm always getting up early in the morning, the wee hours of the morning, the afternoon, midnight, making these videos. First of all, I told her because I love my people, I love my fans. I make these videos, I got to crank it. And second of all, born a hustler, baby. I just want you to know, ain't where I've been, but where I'm about to go. Now I just wanna love ya. In my for real voice. But you know, man, being a hustler, I'm, I'm, I'm like a D-boy. I move like one. So I pull up on the op. I don't got no proper doing that. And I'm cool with you, shorty, but your brother act rhythm, I don't like him. So every time I see him, I'm hitting him up. Nah, topic of discussion though while we hit. Shout out to my guy, Joe Budden. Once again, episode 746 of the Joe Budden Podcast. And... You already know, it's an entertaining podcast. They talk about whatever we goes on in the culture as well as I do. Now, this reaction that we're doing, it's a double reaction because the topic at hand, Joe Budden and the crew are going to react to Drake banning all the TDE artists from Canada performing their shows. You know, uh, Schoolboy Q just got his show canceled and uh, Surf or Sure, whatever his name is for TDE, he just got his show canceled. And they get a perspective on why they thinking that is happening. So before I even commentate, you know how we rock it. We see her up on the block, we don't sit there. Let's spin it. Spin it. Good. We could. We could. Who's the latest that got Sir, Sir. the latest. Sir. And I fuck with Sir, but this was hilarious. Because when the schoolboy show got canceled, um, somebody tweeted Sir and said, I guess you're going to be the next one to be canceled. This was like two weeks ago. I guess you're going to be the next one to be canceled because they just canceled schoolboy. He retweeted that and said, my shit ain't canceled. Mm. And then went in, went in earlier this morning Said damn this tweet aged like shit <laughs> <laughs> So it was like oh you must have got cancelled I wish oh, they'd yeah. tell us Why their shows are getting cancelled The police are cancelling them No they, the they can't perform here That's why it's cancelled But the police are cancelling It don't matter who cancelling it It's coming from We they know where can't, it's coming from Listen oh, I'm gonna give y'all a list That's why it's corny And anybody on this list Cannot perform here Sir is on TV? No fly zone Yes Yes okay. Sir is right. No fly zone wow. We've all heard that before So they basically wow. go to the police And say there's gonna be a problem if they No come. They just flexing muscle But I'm saying But the police are the ones Canceling the That's show right? Well they're not school, um, For the schoolboy show it, They were saying police did it But then police put out something Said we didn't do it Mm. The police put a response. My point is, there's no Don't way matter. of knowing exactly, exactly why, right? right? But we are speculating that OVO has deaded any TDE member from performing. We're, mm -hmm. we're speculating. That. It seems pretty obvious it, at this it, point. Yeah. Yes. Like, niggas couldn't hear the sir slaps in Toronto at all? No. Y'all got the R&B dudes involved? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. You like this? I respect it. I was saying I like it. Listen, we did the same shit in I Jersey. I respect it. Why you don't respect it, Mark? Put your mic a little closer. Put like this. I respect it if you win the battle. Because then you're dancing on the grave. You look you look like a sucker if you if you lose. Now you're saying, now you can't come to my... Now your R&B singers can't come and perform in my in my country. Well, everybody's yeah. still popping shit. So now, now I'm a... Okay, I might have lost the battle. I'm going to win the war. I'm going to flex real muscle. Y'all can't come here. I run this yeah, town. It seems like sore loser shit a little bit, but uh, yeah. at the same time, I respect it. Is. I'm not. He uh, lost. Yeah, I didn't right. even know he had much power to do that. Though. Are you kidding me? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, no, this is the person that said, "I know you got some issues, but I can get you through the border." Yeah. But listen, when that man can do that, he got a different and type of power. And it's not Toronto. Over it's Canada. Yeah, he's like the unofficial. He's got like the keys to the city, the, the country, country, the yeah. The he's considered like province. Yeah, but he's considered like a national treasure. How long you knew this for? Everybody knows it. I, I'm, I wanna, Everybody I wanna, knows it. I Don't you start your shit. In your email? No, I do not. <laughs> in your Canada email? <laughs> she, 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 get, she get notifications. <laughs> because, because, uh, well, let me just say. Gossip. Hey, my ex is still powerful. I, I am, oh, yeah, am going to start my shit because <laughs> if, if he says... The talking that means Drake might have sent. Yo, you better not. You better be up there saboteur. Yo, you're not up here yeah. as a Drake mole, are you? Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. Nah, dead ass. What yeah. the fuck? Saboteur. You speak to him a lot, and I'm down with you. 
I'm down. I don't want you so close to me if you're a Drake mole. I am. You have to move to that couch. I am not a Drake mole. I am not. I take your word. I believe you. I believe she's not. Trust me. I believe you. Give me your pen. She's not. This is why I will shoot Drake a little bail on the sore loser point. If he was the sorest of losers, he would let them niggas come and then do something to him. Yeah. Well, no, nah. because if you do that, then you trick risk- trick wasn't gonna stop y'all from coming to Detroit again. Detroit is different from Toronto. Different people but, we talking about too, though. Trick exactly. trick wanted y'all to get on the plane to come to Detroit. Yeah. Shout out to Detroit. Shout out to the D. Shout, shout out to shout Trick. <laughs> shout out to Trick. Different niggas. Trick was hey, come on. Yeah, I got your rider. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything you need well, at you, the show. You, you talking and then about what happened? Street dudes, though. Is that right? That's totally different. E40, I believe E forty and Biggie. Street dudes. Yo, watch your mouth. No, he booked them nigga through pennies up. at Biggie, nigga. Don't bring that up again. What? He booked Biggie it, and threw pennies you, at him. You, you, you Y'all in New York, though. Don't bring that up again. <laughs> I'm not in New York. I'm from New York. You want to talk about the shit you said about Biggie and Pop? We're in New Jersey. Yo. All right. <laughs> I, I'm saying what I said about Biggie no, and Pop. We took what it out. About Biggie and Pop? We took oh. it out. You didn't say it. That's because y'all are pussy. I talk. So say it again. I talk on a talk show. So I don't need y'all to edit me, nigga. Sometimes. But <laughs> I don't need y'all to edit. I'll call you Mark's need, late no. at night when I need that. No, you needed that edit, though. I don't think so. I, I Mark, think so. I was doing a what if. Okay. I didn't say it. I said, what if Biggie and Pac were the biggest bi- was the biggest bisexual hip-hop battle ever in the history of hip-hop? <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting you that. said it another life. Man. Why is that so bad to say? You mean like you, you think it might be possible, or are you just speculating on some? Well, it's it's rude and impolite to guess someone's sexuality. Right, that's rude. That's true. So I've never especially even, deceased, especially if it's yeah. deceased. A spe- well, that's what you should be able to do it. No. <laughs> hey, man, I have to think of that for a little bit. <laughs> he he might have been. Dog, I listen to too much Biggie. So as an adult now, all of the lyrics that as a writer, I wasn't sure I would have put there, it's made me wonder from time to time. That's why I assume he's not. Because if he was actually in the closet, Biggie wouldn't write that shit. Exactly. Back then, I, he wouldn't be so, you know, I, I never, ain't gonna say him, but you know what I mean? I'm in the closet to means nobody knows. Yes, it means you're yeah. hiding your sexuality. So you don't talk about what you I'm not saying that he was closeted. <laughs> Yo, shut oh, your ass. Yeah. See, this See? is, what, this is back, why we edited this Back shit. then, it was frowned upon, so he wouldn't, like... It still I agree is. with him. I agree with him. Like back then it was frowned See, upon. See, y'all make it, y'all make it like Salacious. distasteful with your thoughts about mm. being bisexual. Yeah. Back then. But I don't have a problem with Biggie or Pac being bisexual. They still two of the best rappers ever if they were. And again, I'm not saying that they were. I'm saying that that juices that beef up a little more in my mind. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> Yo, that was wild. That was, that was nasty, though. That's what it is. Yeah. Juice up the beef. All right. That's pun intended. Juice up the beef. Come like, on. Oh, okay. uh, that's like a, a quadruple uh, entendre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's all. So that's what I said. Yeah, juice, we edited oh, it man. out. I didn't think it was the biggest of deal. You but, said it a little bit. But my crew, too. my crew is so pussy. That when I just say shit that I think is normal, they get the. No. 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 That is not what happened at all. Right. You said it we got one, two, three, four, no, five people here saying I that don't happen. care. <laughs> Whatever I said last time, I found out a w- I found a way to come articulated the way I needed to say it, which I implore you all to do. Yeah, but if we didn't edit it out, you wouldn't have found a way to articulate. No, I don't have time to talk about it. Got it. That's <laughs> what I said about. <laughs> The big inbox shit. That's all. Now, what was I talking about? I don't remember what the fuck. How we got here? We were talking about the the, um, the, 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 the point for me is Drake isn't built for street shit, right? And he don't pretend he is. So he's not going to How do we know that? No, he do pretend. He he pretend a little bit. He pretend. Mm. Fair enough. Mob ties. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think it's smart to say, don't come to my... Like, you, you, you can invite him to your city... Get him touched, but then Drake gotta go on the road. Drake exactly. gotta travel everywhere, and Drake don't want to deal with that in every city. He don't want to go to Oakland and deal with that. He don't want to go to L.A. and deal with that. He don't want to go to Detroit and deal with that. So he'd rather just cancel their shows. I guess I will shoot Drake a little bit of bail in that maybe he's more concerned about what his associates may do than anything else. Uh, he could maybe. potentially be doing on some. Okay. Yo, let me just maybe. avoid this mess okay. by. That's smart. That's a good yeah. one. That is by canceling your shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, keep, keep he's it from coming you here out. all together. <laughs> He might be. Man, I think that man just petty and is just like, this is my way of getting a ha-ha at you. And I don't think it ain't, I'm not thinking about what could happen to you or nothing. 
is, oh, you coming here? No, you're not. And I'm going to show you that you can't come here. None of y'all. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. That's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we back one time. We had to pump the brakes a little bit while we were spinning. Now, you see how he threw that in there? Um, asking um, Mel, what she's a, what she a mode for uh, the OVO? And he asked that. He was being funny, but he also asked what she a mode because for people that don't know, when he, he was like my ex still powerful joke. A lot of people probably don't know, but Drake and Mel, Melissa Ford, off the Joe Budden podcast, her and Drake used to date. Not only is both of them from Canada, they both used to date. So he threw that in there asking her what she a mo. And I can agree with um, the different angles they coming with, but it's a lot of things I can, I can say about that. But before I even break down how I feel about it or do I agree with Joe or not, we see the up on the block again, so you already know what we doing. We about to spin the block again. Let's spin it. Because you beat me in a battle, basically. Because your man beat me. Because I'm petty. Uh, although, although when I when I talk, I've talked to Drake's people, some of Drake's people. The way they frame it is, we're not mad that we lost the beef. We're mad that he made me a pedophile. Mm. That's what they that's what they say. And every time I talk to them, they say the same thing. We don't care about the rap shit, but now you turn me into a pedophile, which is the worst thing you could do to a person. And I'm like, I don't think people really think Drake is a pedophile. A pedophile? I mean, they might. Th I mean, pedophiles a lot. Hey, y'all, y'all taking my Biggie pot shit <laughs> to another level. All right, no, but I'm just saying. But that, 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 that's that's the thing. So, so they're arguing. That's how they just because you, you can't justify shutting somebody out of a city forever because because you lost a battle. My only problem with that, and I'm not here to rehash the beat, but my problem with that is Kendrick said, "Leave this alone. I'll leave it alone." He, he came with the. If the, you take uh, it there, I'm DV, taking it further. DV allegations, and then, and then he that came, led to. Yeah, they, right after Kendrick said, "Leave it alone," I'll leave it alone. Drake said, "You beating your wife? Why? Your why you in Brooklyn? All, yeah. Why y'all not married? Been a long engagement. I'm hiking down the mountain. I'm tired of breath because you're short. Like he said a lot of shit. Your shoes a little. Now don't be mad because one person's mud stuck. Right. <laughs> but even in the mud sticking, right? And that again, the difference between. Kendrick, when he put the lines together, like when I be dissing niggas, I be trying to be lyrical. Kendrick, every line was not trying to be lyrical. No, he wasn't. He was trying to find the most clever way for these things, these points to stick to the world that don't even care about lyrics. And he succeeded in that. Drake on the You Beat Your Wife shit, he didn't make it slappy enough. He, he didn't, didn't, he didn't do that. A minor on a drop. <laughs> Yeah, he, that breezed, was, he breezed through it. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, uh, y'all see DJ Scheme playing on "Not Like Us" over there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, "Not Like Us" still on the charts. I do think that's impressive. It is. It is still yeah. on the charts. Three or four, somewhere around the Tommy Rich guy. Church, we call us sin and sin. sin. Well, around here, between Normandy and Weston, we call this here a little twin and twin twin. Wow, nigga. All right, y'all, we back. We spent the block twice. Now, I think we done. We got the op on the block. We saw him. We got him. Hear me out. Um, They all could be right. But I'm leaning more towards Ice. You know, Drake is the petty king. And I simply think he was like, y'all ain't about to come around here trolling me for nothing. You ain't about to come here like I'm soft and think that y'all just going to beat me in this battle. And then all the TDR that all of a sudden y'all got y'all shows in uh, Canada in a venue that I own, and y'all thinking y'all gonna rock like that? And if he let them do that, they basically taunting that nigga spitting in his face. So I, I don't, I ain't mad at Drake for doing that. But then again, he also can be like saving face and he canceling their shows because his people really, they do whatever for Drake. So it can get real ugly for those artists. So he could actually be saving face for them when they go to their town. When he go to that town, like he got, he good in Houston for sure, but he got to do a lot of, lot of work in LA because he's a big famous artist, pause. So he might be saving face on that end. Like, I don't want, you know, I don't care what happened to Rick Ross. He, he bought on himself. But I think when he saw what happened to Rick Ross, cause even though Drake ain't really had to call the shots, they really just hit him for Drake. Rick Ross got snuffed for Drake, whether he called the shots or not. And I don't think he's worrying about the threat of Rick Ross because people don't love 
Rick Ross in Miami as much as they would love a Kodak or somebody like that, which Drake already said he loved. Even if Kodak was not seeing eye to eye with him, Drake always said he had love for Kodak. So I think it's a smart tactic. So both of them can be right. But I lean like 85% towards what Ice is saying. I think the main part of them shows is getting banned because he like, y'all niggas ain't about to come here doing that shit. I'm gonna be petty. Y'all think y'all gonna come over here and get a bag? We'll see. He the sixth guy, not just for Toronto, but the whole Canada. So either way it go, even if Drake didn't say nothing, they was not having it. Cause you already heard the police is stopping these shows because they already know Drake is that huge of an artist that they already know. TDE artists come in there, it's tension. If they try to do anything dealing with TDE, they already know. And I agree with Drake in his camp, bro. Cause I felt the same way. I'm a Drake fan. I also like Kendrick, but I'm definitely a Drake fan. I'm not a Kendrick fan, but Kendrick won the battle, but he didn't lose, he didn't win the war because it's not over. My only thing I hate about this whole situation, everything stuck on Drake as this made him a pedo. People say he was beating on his wife and all that. Just because they back in a video together dancing. Yeah, the baby might not be Dave Freeze, but that also don't mean that he ain't used to beat his girl either. Yeah, and so I feel him. Ain't nothing, everything Drake said was, oh, no, that ain't true. Because they was in the video together, she was happy dancing. That don't mean a damn thing. That could have been something that he did in the past to her. Could be the reason why they ain't actually got married yet. Because he infidelities with the white women that he also said in his albums, if y'all a Kendrick fan. And he probably actually was putting his hands on her. I ain't, I, I ain't blaming him for it because it could have been the environment he grew up in. He is from Compton, Bompton. So I'm saying, I just feel like I agree. I don't care about you winning, bro, because it's a rap battle. Jay-Z, people say Jay-Z lost to Nas, but Jay-Z still Jay-Z. Jay-Z still a bigger artist, pause, than Nas. And he definitely a billionaire. So I ain't do nothing but make him stronger. Same scenario with Drake, if he just keep coming back out. But Drake we know, but better. More gritty. Stop all this colorful shit. But that's all I have for y'all, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Man, you know, this world keeps showing me every day. And showing y'all what I always say. Love each other. Till next time. It's yours truly. Heartbreak. What's good, Lay Bloomer Gang? It's yours truly. Heartbreak Ace. Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me personally, since I could remember as a kid, I've been a geek and a nerd when it comes to technology. Now, I got to have the latest trends. I got to have the nice cameras, uh, all of that, all the essentials for podcasting, especially making these videos to give y'all with high quality audio and uh, visuals. I only go to one place. And of course, y'all know that's Amazon. Amazon got everything you need. Everything from A to Z, literally. And you know, they got a lot of good prices. Some things are pricey, but you don't have to get that. You know what I mean? I know people be on a budget a lot. We got bills to pay. We got to take care of our kids. We got an everyday lifestyle. I get it. So I made a list for y'all, must have for content creators, for beginners or pros. Just simply go on my channel, hit the link, like I'm showing you in this video, and see if it's something that you might like. I'm pretty sure you will. Especially if you wanna look good, like I do on these videos. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking with y'all, man. But you know what I mean? As always, show love. Show love to each other. It's yours truly, till next time, it's heartbreak.